above the waist, including the elastic that goes around, which is uh, used to tie up the skirt. So here we go. This then to reach the semi-final. Well, get over off to a very positive quick start there for Great Britain. Oh! Betty retaliating with another point. One all. And get over with the cart riposte there. Betty closing the distance. Double touch. Gilliver remains in the lead. The one point advantage at 3 2. So quick off the started, off the referee's alley there. Gilliver in with that attack. This wow, score, what a match. This score is going fast and furious. 4 3 in just 10 seconds. Well, another double there, and only in F8. Doubles are allowed to stand, so a point each every time they get a double. 5-4 at the moment there to Gulliver. Well, that double touch keeps Gulliver in the lead, but just by one hit. First to 15. Under the wrist, a tidy hit by the British fencer. And now Betty trying to stay at a distance and came in with a well-timed attack over Gilliver to just stay within one point difference. And there Betty was just off target and Gilliver made the, the post perfectly timed back onto the body of Betty. Wow, how quick was that there, Gilliver? Nine six up now. Get about just retreating his arm, trying to encourage Betty to come forwards. And no! well, get over just slightly exposed himself, and Betty took that opportunity. Nine seven. Get over leads by two points over Betty of Italy. Quick check of equipment. Make sure the Zip isn't exposed. Well, how much of an advantage is that? Two points, that three points now. That was a beautiful now. hit. You saw that was just under the wrist of Betty. By Gilliver, very accurate. He's just trying to entice Betty in there, holding his arm out to the side. And again, really drew the Italian in and picked him off. The opportune moment. Gilliver, four point advantage at this latter stage of the fight. 12-8. First to 15 will go through to the semi-finals and Gilliver looking in good form. And Betty just coming back one point. Still a three-point lead for the British athlete. Well. Betty's backhand, he uses to hold onto the wheelchair, just maybe suffering a little bit of cramp, asking for a moment from the referee as he's just trying to stretch out his hand. We saw that, didn't we, in the earlier rounds, they were holding on so, so tight to the chair just to get the leverage and, and uh, absolutely getting lactic acid there into the fingers. So Gilliver leads by 12 points to nine over Betty. Not even one minute into the time when these direct elimination fights, the maximum time allowed is nine minutes split into three thirds. So after the first three minutes, if we ever get to that, there is a minute break, but it's looking unlikely. As Gilliver is now just three points away from a semi-final, Betty, six points. Well, this is where the tactics come in, isn't it? Now, he can just let him come on now. Kalava, double, and that's a, an advantage. 13-10, but uh, he's three ahead.
Gilliver is three ahead. Oh, it's getting a little scrappy. Another victory. Just one point away from the semi final. Here's Gilliver of Great Britain. Matteo Betty needs to do something special now. He's going to make it beyond the quarterfinals. Well, clawing back one point, still trails by three. What can the Italian do? He can't afford a double touch. That will secure the win for Gilliver. Yeah, Gilliver trying to pull him in, just trying to draw him in. Oh, he gets it, and he's through. He's in the semi-final. That was absolutely terrific, wasn't it? Oh, he's delighted. Looks on fire. The world number one, Piers Gilliver. Great Britain winning his quarter-final convincingly over Matteo Betty and in a very quick time as well. That fight was over quicker than many of the pool fights in the women's competition. Yeah, absolutely. On top of his game there, Piers Gilliver. Like you say, so explosive. Double Just look touch. at the bend there. Just, yeah, there's doubles. Of course, Gilliver was ahead. And the final hit that he so needed didn't take Gilliver long to wrap that up 15 11.